Hello everybody, welcome to another junk journal with me video. This is going to be the last process video in this journal. It is almost full. I'm just basically in this video impatiently filling it up because as I said in my previous uh, junk journal video, I do get really impatient when it comes to the end of a journal. Although the first few minutes I did do a inverted quotes proper spread um yet again I had a pen purchase that I liked I'd like to document my pen purchases in my journal and I had another big special one that I wanted to document as well as some inks I bought from a small business and I always like to put small businessy things in my journal I just think because I have one I I don't know it's it's something I like to put in my journal so while I was preparing the ink page I was printing out on my sprocket the pictures of the pen that I bought the first picture that I printed on the sprocket didn't come out in great colours. I think because it was an edited picture, uh, the sprocket didn't quite know what to do with those colours. So I wasn't too happy with that, so I printed out another one. I was just preparing for the other page here. When you buy from Izumi Pens, the Izumi Pen Company, um, I picked up some Van Diemen's ink from them recently. You get a little card that says thank you for purchasing and a free sample so that's what I was documenting in that little card there. I put a little swatch of the free sample inside the card but I'm going to put that stuff on the next page and make this double page spread all about my pen because I am in love with this pen. I know I say that every time but I am. I have love affairs with pens. To fill up that page on the left hand side, that's one of my printables from my Etsy shop, also available as physical items. That's from the antique handwritten set, I think. And to give it that sort of rough aged quality, I just ripped up some washi and put it either side. I wanted to have some fountain pen friendly paper on the other page to write on, but then when I ripped it to the right size, I realized I'd actually ripped it the wrong way, that the lines would be vertical. So it ended up not covering up that entire page and I had to rejig what I was doing a little bit but that's fine just put one of the pictures right at the bottom to fill the white space and another one of the pictures straight onto that printable handwriting thing adding lots of ripped up washi around the photos just something I like to do makes it more interesting and then I'm going to get the pen out eventually and do my little bit of journaling with it here it is here she is she's so beautiful this is a pelican souverain M400 in tortoiseshell white. Souverain is German for sovereign. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong and I think they say pelican differently, like pelican or something like that. I don't know. I do German on du Duolingo and my pronunciation is atrocious, but still, I try. Anyway, so there she is. Most beautiful pen and it writes, oh, it's like butter. It's so smooth. I am in love with this pen. It's beautiful. I keep saying I'm in love with it. I'm sorry, repeating myself over and over and over. Very boring for you. Anyway. I wanted the name of the pen to be bigger than my journaling, but instead of, I really struggle like writing big and then doing my normal size journaling. To me, it always looks really messy when I do it. So instead of doing that, I just typed out the name of the pen on my old fashioned Dymo label maker, cut that out, put that around the photos, and then adding my journaling here on that fountain pen friendly paper little bit that I ripped out and I think that's pretty much going to be it for these pages I don't know if I maybe add a little bit more washy here and there maybe I do but there's me just showing off the pen because it's so beautiful she's looking just so pretty and she comes in a little case and ah uh, anyway next page as I said is going to be documenting some ink samples these pages by the way are the ones that originally were in a signature that I took out of this journal but I'd already done some stuff on these pages so just sort of washy and glued them into the journal so they're about actually kind of awkward to work with but it's fine I made it work so yes inky pages here I'm just going to stick that little card down that I was playing around with at the beginning there some wide washi in the background to fill up the white space and then I'm taking a little tiny weeny piece like a seven size probably of Tomoe River paper and doing the ink samples. Um, it's Van Diemen's ink in Pixie Parasol is the first one and the second one is from the Underwater series which is very very popular always sells out. My I got it in the colour Parrotfish. There's lots of other colours I want but Parrotfish was the one that was you know tippity top of my list. Um, oh by the way if you watched my video a couple of weeks ago or whatever it was when I was talking about Tomoe River and the possible cancellation of it I then I posted in the pin a pinned comment on that video that it may actually not be cancelled because someone on Reddit got in contact with Tomoe Gower who makes Tomoe River paper 
And they said, no, we're not cancelling it. And then I listened to a podcast and they were like, no, they definitely are not making it anymore. So it's all a bit, ah, I don't know. So just wanted to put that out there for anyone who watched that and actually cares about Tomorrow River. Basically, I've given up trying to find out what the heck is happening because it's too confusing and bleh. Anyways, let the ink samples dry a bit because um, on Tomorrow River, they need a little, little bit of time to dry, otherwise they're going to smear. To make the background of that page a little more interesting, I've chosen all sort of sea underwater themed washi tapes because of, as I said, the underwater theme of one of the inks. And just covered the page completely and then I'm going to just stick that ink sample page down and then maybe decorate it again with little bits of ripped up washi. This... Uh, video by the way is probably going to be sponsored by little pieces of ripped up washi because <laughs> I do that a lot but that's going to be it for my pages where I'm actually documenting an actual thing so I am um, someone in my last junk journal video when I was asking people how they fill up pages I'm really sorry I can't remember who said it shout out in the comments if it was you said they often just kind of throw pictures in there and I thought that was a really good idea, like all these, we all have so many pictures now, all the pictures we take on our phones, I have thousands of pictures of my cat, I'm not exaggerating, and they're all printed off, and I don't need to make a spread about every single picture of my cat, so I thought I would just fill up the rest of the pages with pictures of my cat, just in a sort of photo album -y way, especially as this journal, um, it's the puppies and kittens journal that I made from an old ladybird book, so having lots of cat pictures kind of works with that. So I'm doing basically a lot of simple, really simple collage, and again with the ripped up washi, I said, sponsored by ripped up washi this video, uh, lots of cat washi, which I, yeah, I have a lot of cat washi, and then adding my pictures of, of my cat, really, and not really doing much journaling, if any. I was trying to choose these pages that I hadn't used yet that were from the Ladybird book that had something cat related on them so it you know it would kind of work with the picture but not every single one is cat related it doesn't have to be as I said I'm just throwing these pictures in the journal I did actually vaguely make the pictures related to the pages if I had you know if it works so that one says this kitten has some milk and it's a picture of my cat licking his paw as if he's just eaten something and then oh I love this picture where it says this kitten is in a sock um, it's a picture of my cat, he was asleep at the top of a really tall shelf and all you could see was like two legs just sticking up and his tail, very fluffy tail dipping down, you'll probably see on the picture, it just cracks me up every time I see that picture, I, just, <laughs> I love it, anyway, so I actually did a tiny little like five words of journaling on that page just about how it's, it's the best sleeping position ever again basic decoration with washi and that is it. I think after this, oh no, I'm gonna do another cat page. Oh my goodness, I thought I'd actually done only one or two pages, but apparently it's more than that. Um, this one, I'm doing a little more to this page just because the page in the background was very, very blank. And as I've said many, many times before, not good with white space, I feel the need to fill it up. So scrap of paper, Ripped up washi yet again, and then I went into my little ephemera box that has all cat related things and found a few little pieces that I thought would work. And as this, there was this tiny bit of ripped paper, I thought I would write a little quote because this is when I was annoying my cat by taking selfies with him. And you can see by his face, he was not having it. So I ripped, wrote something like, Will you please leave me alone, stupid human? or something along those lines. And now I think I'm done with the cat pages, at least for now. I thought I would like some pages that just had writing on um, general journaling, but instead of having them completely plain, I would do some very basic collage and decoration, leaving room for writing. So yet again, ripped up pieces of washi. Um, I'm never gonna be able to remember where any washi is from. I say this every time, I just, unless I say, in the video, I probably don't know where it's from. I do know, for example, that smaller piece I ripped up there is a Prima washi tape. But I don't know where I got it from. I do at least know the brand if you like it. The map one though, no idea. I bought a lot. There was one year where I bought insane amounts of washi and they were all, you know, like eBay, AliExpress purchases. And so it's impossible for me to link them now. 
uh, that collage I did on the right was a lot of stuff um, from my own shop, things that I would put in my junk journaling kits, apart from the rub on that I put down the bottom there. And then, yeah, as I said, I will go back and fill that up with writing, either personal writing or poetry or song lyrics or book quotes or whatever, just filling it up with words because I think it just looks nice when you can see some of your own handwriting in your journal. Uh, here, because of the pattern on the left hand page, I decided to use some of my William Morris washi. Not that that pattern is particularly William Morris y, but I, I don't know, I just felt like doing it to be honest. But yeah, again, collaging with the washi and any other little bits and pieces that I find. I wasn't completely happy with the way this one turned out, especially the page on the on the left, but whatever it doesn't matter coming to the end of the journal there's like 99% of the pages I do completely love so it's fine uh that little piece there is one of my postcard or written postcard printables again with the rub on because I love them so much and then I think I just added a really large sticker to take up some of the room on that patterned piece because I couldn't really write on that at all without the writing getting lost so I thought a really big sticker would do the job uh, oh, and I'm playing on my phone. Oh no, I thought I was playing on my phone. No, I'm actually using it for a journaling purpose. No, I, this was the next day and I had come across these little pictures, uh, illustrations, drawings, whatever you want to call them, on a cat group that I'm in and I fell in love with them. They're all pictures of a skeleton and a cat, either holding the cat or cuddling the cat or whatever and I love skulls and I love cats and I had to use these somehow in my journal. The artist is um, Tina Menzel, that's Tina with two eyes. She is uh, Therese underscore nothing on Instagram if you want to check out her artwork. I don't have any connection with her whatsoever, literally her pictures were shared on a cat group, I thought they were cool so I printed some of them off, but I went to find her on Instagram because I think it's important to give artists credit where where you can, so that's the artist for those pictures. Printed it off on my Faux Memo Thermal printer because, I mean, obviously that only prints in black and white so you are losing a bit of the colour but that's fine and it also makes every one of the cats black which is perfect for me because I love black cats. And I simply decorated those pages with lots of cat washi and then a couple of these black cat sticker flakes which I've been hoarding for such a long time because they're so super cute but I thought they would work on these pages and I was just writing there the artist name so if I come across it in the future I know exactly who the artist is if I want to check her out or see what she's up to or you know whatever. Moving on I'm going to do some more basic collage with washi and scraps and bits and pieces to fill up the remaining space with writing though I'm just it's just occurring to me that I may have forgotten to do that on that page because after I finished filming I then went and did all my writing to fill up those pages and I'm fairly sure I missed that one so I'm gonna have to go back and do something about that I thought I'd put the postcard printable again and this is some like map world map wide washi on the side with the map on just to kind of go with the theme and vibe of it and then I also added some uh, old vintage and retro stamps from you know stolen from shops my own Etsy shop stock and put those on in a little collage and cluster and stuff again it's very basic simple decoration because as I keep saying I, I wanted to get the damn journal filled by this point I'm not usually this impatient I think it's Partially down to the fact that I don't often work in really chunky journals and also I made the mistake of making my next journal like too early. I've had my next journal made for like a good three plus weeks already and it's been sitting there looking at me like fill me, fill me and I'm like I can't move into you yet your predecessor is not complete so that's you know I made a rod for my own back basically. Um, what am I going to do on this page? Oh, I went back to the cat photos. Wow. I think at this point it was, I see a blank page, I will fill it from something random that I see on my desk. So either collage and writing or a picture. And these are pictures of... <laughs> Conan likes to sleep on my chest, like on my front sometimes, especially in winter when it's cold, but he will often like reach out his paws and put them on my face and occasionally my mouth as if to say, shut up human, I am sleeping, you must be quiet for me. And it always makes me laugh when he does that. So 
very unattractive pictures of me, but they still make me laugh. So there we go. Um, going through, going through, finding pages to fill. I think we're almost there. Came across those. Oh, and then I decided to stop filming absolutely everything I was doing because I was doing the same thing over and over again and you really don't need to watch that. So this is just the end of those pages that I did some basic collage on. And as I said, we'll go back and do some writing on. Just happened over and over again with the last handful of pages. And then I came across this cluster of pages at the end and was like, oh my goodness, no, <laughs> really? So I decided to cut a couple of those out and cheat. Um, I decided, I pulled one out, I made the rookie mistake of pulling it like that, which um, affects the other page, so I had to sellotape that back in again. Um, so for this one, I just used some like decorative edge scissors, so you just have that little bit sticking out there, but most of the page is gone. And then finally, to complete and finish off this journal, I had already put some washi on that front page, and I had this leftover like Filofax insert, that you get like at the front of your pack of inserts. I never use them, but it had 2021, like the full calendar. And I thought as this is this journal has taken up a good half of 2021, it would be a good thing to have at the front. So I've just ripped out that calendar, stuck that down, and that is gonna be it. Oh no, no, it's not gonna be it. Ripped up washi, of course. Like I couldn't not put ripped up washi on it. But after that, then it's gonna be it. And my journal is finally complete. So there we go. I will have a full flip through of the journal up on my channel in the next week or so and then a share of my next journal and then we'll go back into the normal routine of everything and there we go so thank you so so much for watching relevant links in the description box like shops and stuff that I talk about talked about they'll be down below and yeah please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed chat to me down in the comments I am gonna go thank you again bye bye